guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with some makeup. I am currently in my new makeup room. It's a bit echoey. We're still working on the room, but I recently did a makeup look. It's been ages since I sat down and did a full face of glam. So I did exactly that two days ago. I think I need to film a tutorial for it because one of the comments I got was, if there isn't a tutorial for this, I'm going to flip a table. So here it is, this is for you. I'm gonna use the exact same products pretty much that I used on that day. Uh, we're just gonna start with skin first. So I'm all prepped and primed. I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan The Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation in the shade Medium EF06. This is a really nice foundation. It's new to me because I'm a bit pale at the moment and I was looking through my collection. Do you see that? For something that would work <laughs> with my new pale complexion. And this was it. If you look, it matches my neck great, but it is a little bit fair on my actual skin. But by the time I'd done concealer and bronzer, it was great. Yeah, you can see it just covers my redness up. I would like to get this in my like tan shade because I think it would be beautiful in summer. Sun's out today, guys. Sun's out. I think we're reaching our first 20 degrees Celsius in Scotland for the year. Thank goodness. <laughs> With summer on the horizon, this look was really inspired by that. But I wanted to create a kind of grungy summer look, so I hope you like it, because that's what you're getting. I look like a zombie. This foundation's really light in coverage, but it gives a really gorgeous finish. Very like skin-like satin, slight glow, not too much. How are you guys doing? I've missed you. I feel like I've not sat down and done a makeup tutorial in a really long time, especially not one that's like quite glam. I've really missed it, you know. The natural looks are gorgeous, uh, but I just feel like I've done so many lately. Another reason that I think that this looks so pale on me is my eyes are quite dark. So whenever I use like a base this light, I look like Fester Adams. But wait until the finished look, you'll love it. So I really have just chucked that on, but it just works. It just works really nice. I really like it. I really like the texture and the finish. I've got so much left in the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna grab it and just add that just to the center of my face, just build it up slightly. This is really backwards, but I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my skin with my concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. Uh, so this is actually my usual shade, and you'll see it's quite yellow compared to my base. I wonder if that base is a little bit too light and a little bit too pink for me. Don't freak out, don't stress, it's going to be fine. So I'm just popping this in my center areas, all the places that I like to conceal. So I'm just gonna blend that out with the same brush. I feel like when you use the same brush for your foundation and your concealer, they melt together really well. I suppose it's, it's kind of similar to when you use a beauty blender. You blend out your foundation, then you blend out your concealer, you know, you use the same beauty blender, so why not use the same brush? Even though it's pale, it's flawless. Powder, airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade number two by Charlotte Tilbury, love it. Uh, I'm just gonna use that under my eyes, all the usual spots just to mattify where we want. But if you look like that foundation, it's not overly dewy. When I do that, you can see I've got a nice go to my skin. Okay, bronzer, I need this. This is the Hula Caramel Classic Oldie But Goodie. I'm gonna use plenty of that to add life to my complexion, because I need it. Just all the usual spots. And I'm actually gonna do my nose as well, just the sides and underneath, and then whatever's left of my brush, I just chuck it across. I saw a statistic the other day, and it made me really interested because I'm so lucky to have this job that I've done my makeup a lot through lockdown, like it's my job, so I still sit down and do my makeup, and even, you know, on my days off, I still sit down and do my makeup because it's what I'm really passionate about. But there was a statistic that was 80% of 18 to 35 year olds are really excited to wear more makeup after lockdown. What are you guys? What do you think? Yeah, apparently there's just gonna be a lot of us all having so much fun with our makeup, which makes me really happy. And I really hope, like I can't wait till we're allowed to just like roam around outside. I hope I'm just seeing people with big full faces of glam on, or even like just 
big eye makeup, big bold lips. What are you guys? I know a lot of people as well haven't been wearing as much makeup so they're a wee bit nervous to dip into it. That's why I like natural tutorials because they're easy to follow. But this look that I'm doing today is definitely more fun and I, I really hope you guys love it. Okay, blush, Sunset Blush and Pesca. I'm gonna put tons of this on. and I'm gonna keep it nice and high and I'm gonna keep it useful. I'm gonna really go over my nose. Like, look at that. I mean, I really like the way that that looks. I think it makes my nose look quite pinched and I think there's something quite like Megan Fox about wearing blush this way, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna keep it nice and high and up. See, adding your blush just here as well. Really lovely. And with a shade like Pesca, you really can't go wrong because it's, it's quite light. You can really build it up for intense color, but it's a good gateway blush. Nice, okay, happy with that. I am gonna use the Nova Glow Highlighter in the shade Holy Chic. When I'm doing super, super glam, I will use Nova Glow Highlight just because, look at this, she's a belter. I wear the shade Holy Chic, which is the middle shade. You've got Riches, which is deeper, and then you've got Bijou, which is like a really gorgeous pale gold. I feel like it's just all the things that I loved to do with my makeup before the pandemic. This was it, this was my vibe. And the pandemic came along and it sucked the life out of me, it sucked me dry. All I wanted was to enhance my natural features and now I'm back to this. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do both, I will do both, but you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. I'm gonna take the same highlight, I'm just gonna do my nose, so tip of my nose, yes. And the bridge, great. And I'm just gonna get my finger to do my cupid's bow. Really lovely. Okay, time for all nighter. All nighter suit, let's look at the size of this. Jamie sized. Summer essential. Okay, we're almost dry. I'm gonna take my Frick Noir and I'm gonna, I nearly made a huge mistake. They're using the wrong thing as a mirror, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna take my Frick Noir and I'm gonna do my little freckle. I'll just do a little pat so you can see it and then push it in, boom. Perfect freckle. After setting spray, always, go back in with a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna go back in with the Charlotte Tilbury under the eye, just for any creasing, because really fun new thing, I crease under my eyes now. Did I used to? No. And that, my friends, is on aging. I think that looks really nice. Do I've got the colors and the tones in my skin exactly where I want them? Fun. Okay, let's do your eyes. I'm gonna zoom you in. And you can still see like my freckles through it. I just think that looks really nice. Okay. So for our eyes for this look, this is definitely the focus point of this look. It's so easy. I found a really fun, easy way to do this look. So I'm gonna take the Vive Eye Wand in Sand and this is what we're gonna use all over our eye to cancel out all these dark tones and just give us a really nice base. I don't know what I did before this because it's perfect. If you are just an eyeshadow wearer, use this as your base. If you're looking for a smoky eye in seconds, use one of the darker shades. It's just so easy. And look, you just pat, pat, pat. You can use your fingers. I do prefer to use a brush, mostly because uh, of my nails. I can't really get in to the inner corner, but literally just pat that out. You can use an eyeshadow brush. You can use a bigger brush. You can use, do you know what? Whatever you want. You do you. Tell me it's not flawless. Lie to my face. Go, I dare you. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the eye wand in vanilla. So vanilla is my all time favorite shade for using on paler skin for an eyeshadow base, but also on any skin tone to make eyeshadows pop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use vanilla. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use Chow, this one here. So, sorry, my palette. Do you know what? I've been using this since launch. All the shadows are pretty evenly used. What can I say, it lasts a long time. So I'm gonna use vanilla first and I'm gonna go straight from the bullet onto my lid and I'm gonna create a little cut crease and look, see the shape of it. You just chuck it on, get to the end and I just kinda leave it hanging just about there. I've really just chucked it on. I'm gonna take a little kinda flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna neaten that up slightly. It doesn't need to be perfect, honestly. I can see that I need to add a little bit of product I'm gonna do that just at the end. And that's honestly all I did. I literally just chucked it on 
I didn't even really pat it out or anything. But it just gave me a really good base to get that chowl stuck on top. So I'm just gonna do this eye all at once. So I'm just gonna put chowl on now. And you'll see that these eyeshadows are really pigmented anyway, but when it's on top of vanilla, it just sticks right up where we put vanilla. And I'm just patting the shadow on, not blending or anything. And it won't look too, ah well, it does look quite strong, but we've not defined it yet with any darker shades. Once you do that, it really does just stand out. And then for this end part, I just kind of place and wiggle the shadow where I want it. Boom, looks a bit nuts, bear with me. Okay, let's do the other eye. And I'm just letting the eye wand follow the curve of my eye. It means that you just get a really nice shape that'll suit your eye. Pad it out, get that shape the way you want it. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just get that shadow and chuck it on. Another thing that I really like about the eye wands is the fact that you can apply them just straight onto your eye. If I was doing anything more kind of like graphic or really precise, I would use a brush straight on the eye wand, but it's like no faff, it's not messy, and just chuck it on. I'm gonna take like a little kind of smudger brush and go in with the shades Buff and Delicious, and we're gonna define this eye. I'm gonna go in with an angle brush and Delicious, and I'm just gonna stamp out my definition. But I'm literally just going round the shape that I've made and I'm going to go in a little bit, but not too much, just like so. And the nice thing is we're working with eyeshadows, so it's really soft, really easy, and you can easily clean it up if you need to. So there's the start, and I'm just going to turn my brush on its side. Can I drag that up? There we go. So we've got the start of the blend, and I can see where I need to change the eye. So I'm going to just connect that there. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Buff and I'm just going to go over the top of that and just blend it a little bit. You can even clean your brush off a little bit and just use it with hardly any product. Back in with Delicious. And I'm using the angle brush slightly on its side to blend it upwards. And you know what's nice? Once you've got this look down, you can use any colours you want. I'm going to take a tiny bit of vanilla on the brush that I used to blend it out. And I'm just going to use that to really sharpen up so there's like a little dip in this line here. And I'm just using that to really crisp it up. You can go right along the whole kind of cut crease if you like. And once you've done that, you can go back over it with chow to just... Brighten that up with the, with the lovely yellow. Cool. Now I'm going to go back over with the brown. But what I liked about this so much was that the cut crease, it wasn't super, super strong. I knew that I didn't want to use black to define it because that really does change the whole look. So the brown works really nice. But honestly, honestly, see this shade right here. It's unbelievable. I am going to use it to blend out. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have it. And then for this look, I actually highlighted my brow bone. I've already done my brows, I just used my usual benefit. And I'm just gonna take my highlighter, just Nova Glow Highlight and Holy Chic. I'm just gonna highlight the brow. I hadn't done this in so long. I like a highlighted brow. Liner is quite a big part of this look. It just adds that kind of sexy, sleepy eye look. So this is the KVD. Tattoo liner in the shade Trooper Black, and we're going to do some lovely, slightly kind of larger half wings. Let's just see how I got one. Oh, yeah, and you can kind of follow the shape. Kind of like that shape, and we're going to fill that in. Okay, that's slightly different to what I did yesterday, but that's how it be sometimes. I'm gonna put some mascara and lashes on. Mascara today is the Hourglass Ultra Black Caution Extreme Mascara. And lashes are the Beef Half Lash and HL2. These are the thicker, fuller half lash. And wait until you see how it's gonna transform this look. So for mascara, I'm gonna really chuck this on. I'm gonna keep it really thick and full, especially at the front part. It's a nice formula, it's quite dry which 
I quite like. Right, for the half lashes, on me, I trim this last end piece off. And then I'm gonna glue them up and we're gonna stick them on. They are so easy to apply because they are a half lash. You literally just stick them to the end of the outer corner of your lash line and it is just as easy as that. And you'll see how much these lashes will add to this look. It, can, it just changes the whole vibe. And because they're half lashes as well, they are so comfortable to wear, so, so comfortable to wear. And they are available now. If you've been watching my YouTube channel and I ever go to put a lash on and I say, I just don't know what these are, I just find them. That's not true. <laughs> While I'm waiting for those lashes to dry, I'm gonna take a smudger brush and I'm gonna go under my eye. So just go slightly under, it really enhances the shape and size of your eyes. So I'd literally go underneath. So almost, can you see that little gap between my under eye and my lash line. Just keep that on the mostly outer corner. And actually while we're here as well, I'm gonna take my eye wand in vanilla and we're gonna highlight the inner corner with it. So literally just stamp, stamp, stamp on my inner corner. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade So Shy to set that inner corner and help blend it out a little bit, just to soften it out. Oof, it's good. I'm just gonna build up my lower lashes. Wow, that mascara is really good for lower lashes. Now we're all lashy. I'm gonna stick on my false lashes. I'm gonna pop these on using the Vive Lash Applicator, which just makes it so much easier again. If you're kind of new to lashes, you want your glue to be almost transparent, and then you literally just I promise, I'm, I, I, I maybe make it look a wee bit easy, but it is actually really easy. And then you go in with your wee tweezers and give them a squeeze. Oh yes. This kind of makes me feel like I'm living my 70s fantasy. I think it's the shades, the brown and the yellow together. It's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna zoom you out and let's do our lips. <laughs> Okay, so for lips, I went for a classic nude. I used Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in Treasure and Vive Modern Lip Definer in Brat. It's just one of my favorite go-to nude lips of all time. This is a little bit more pink compared to my like beigey nudes that I love, but it's great. I like to overdraw my lips, so let's do that. I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm just gonna bring that onto the lip slightly. And then I'm gonna go in with Treasure. And then with looks like these, just because it is slightly more graphic, you can have a last look to see if you need to even anything out. I do, so I'm just doing that now. I can see that the inner corners aren't quite the same. There's something about the like roundness of this look as well that I really like, like enhancing my Round eyes, I don't know. A bit more bottom mascara. Once you start, you can't stop. Okay, let's take this hair down. Oh my God, look how much my fringe has grown. I'm just gonna add a little bit more bronzer. Are we shocked? No. Oh my God, all you need is to be good at hair to do like a big beehive and it literally would be perfect. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of a more perfect lash for this look. And I'll do another look soon with the HL ones to show you what they're like. But for today, I hope you didn't flip a table. I hope you like it. I'm delighted. I think it looks real nice. If there's any other looks that you'd like me to create a tutorial on, please let me know. If you recreate this, then please tag me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, all the products that I use will be linked down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you're gonna trust me with this. I look nuts. Well, I can just see a bit that's just not even at all. Stress me out. Uh, I really sheared, bleh, and I'm just gonna kinda, nope, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. Wow, I actually look like a dead person. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade. Why do I keep on looking over here like, nope. Cute the little freck is. Freck? Oh, 
always feel a bit rude saying that. <laughs> I'm in such a silly mood. I'm gonna have a meltdown. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna have a meltdown. Now my laptop's overheating. That's great.